welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you can tell from the title of this video what this video is going to be about. I'm going to Bali. Ah, I'm going to Bali. I'm so excited. I'm going to Bali in like a week. I cannot believe it. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show you a little bit of what I'm packing and talk about why I'm going to Bali, what I'm going to be doing in Bali, my plan, and yeah. So I know that on my Instagram, I just announced that I'm going to Bali and it seems a little bit sudden, but this is actually something I've been planning for quite some time. And by quite some time, this particular trip, particular trip, I started planning for in January, but I've been wanting to go to Bali since 2014. Basically, I'm going to Bali to do another yoga teacher training. I've already done two 200 hour yoga teacher trainings, one in 2014 and one in 2015. So it's been about four years and I'm doing actually a third 200 hour. So, so many people have asked me, why are you doing another 200 hour training and why did you do two already? And the answer is simple, in my opinion. Every 200 hour training is gonna be different. It depends on who you're training with. Everybody has different teaching styles and I live in a world where there's always more to be learned. We'll never stop learning and or having the need to learn more and so after my first teacher training I felt like I learned a lot but I left feeling like wait <laughs> did I retain all of that information because it's a lot of information that you're given which is why I did a second teacher training a year later and even after that one I felt like I learned so much not necessarily new stuff, but I was able to retain a lot more information and it was completely different than the first one, mind you. So that just like further proves my thought about that. And the reason why I'm doing a third one is because the amount of time that I'm going to be gone is best for me versus a 300 hour. And I still feel like I could use more of the same. I don't know if it's just the way that I retain information or what, but I just feel like I want to do another 200 hour training. It's also worth noting that the first two teacher trainings that I did, I was working full time. So I didn't feel like I could fully focus on the trainings. Clearly I learned a lot because I am a full time teacher and I teach at Aloe Yoga and I have private clients and I feel like I'm quite knowledgeable about yoga but at the same time, I still feel like there's more for me to learn. And that's why I'm doing another 200 hour training. And this time I'm taking a whole month off of work and going to focus fully on this training, which I'm so, so, so excited about because this is something I've been wanting to do for years. I'm thinking because I'm gonna be in Bali for a month, I'm gonna take this big suitcase and then I think I will take this aloe backpack that I just got as my carry-on. Then I also will take, I think I get a personal item and a carry-on. And then I also got this aloe yoga um, mat bag, which I'm obsessed with. And I think that I'm gonna take this as my personal item. So I'll take these two things with me on the plane and then this bag I'll check. I think what I'm gonna do to start packing since I am gone for so long is I'm just gonna start to kind of throw in everything I think I might like to take and then go through it again. I don't know if that's a good way to do it, but that's what I'm gonna do. Because I am doing a yoga teacher training for three weeks of my trip, I'm mostly bringing workout clothes and yoga clothes, but I am gonna bring some regular clothes as well. So why another teacher training? Why now? People are kind of asking me like, What's the deal? Why are you going? You teach at Aloe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I do. I teach at my dream yoga studio. My life is really good right now. Generally, when I've done teacher trainings in the past or when I've tried to take trips, it's to kind of escape something. And I think this is the first time that I'm actually going not to escape my life. Basically, I'm going to just enhance everything that I'm doing now. 
I'm also not gonna lie, I've been feeling energetically stagnant for quite some time. Um, I think I do a really good job at coping with it and managing it. And it's not all the time, but I've definitely been struggling with some things and I may or may not open up about them when I'm ready. But um, I really feel like I just need, I need this. And I'm really excited about it. So as far as what I'm packing, I'm definitely bringing some comfy pants. And then as far as yoga pants, I mean, we're gonna be practicing like every single day. They did say that there's laundry there, but I don't really, I'm the type of gal that I'd rather have like more options than not, but I definitely don't want to overpack. So, but then again, I'm also probably will want to shoot yoga photos and stuff like that. So far, I'm just bringing like my favorite pants. Obviously I'm bringing bikinis as well. And then stuff like this, like a black t-shirt dress, which is really comfortable that I can just wear with sandals. I have these linen, they're actually linen shirts that I got at Zara, but I kind of use them as cover-ups. And they're really cute with shorts as well. So like little outfits like that. And as far as regular clothes, I'm not bringing a ton because I don't foresee myself wearing that much regular clothes. But like I have this little drapey thing from Free People, this mustard romper from Unaffected, this Free People outfit, which is just top and pants, little like cover-up dress, this little shawl, this little shorts and top outfit. I have like a pretty palm dress, and then probably my plain outfit. I'm gonna kind of get this organized and then I'll kind of break down what I end up packing. So I feel like I'm making some actual progress. <laughs> and what I decided I'm doing with this whole packing thing is I'm just doing kind of like a first round of packing, just including the things I think that I'm gonna wanna bring and kind of seeing how it all fits. And then I'll probably do a comb through of everything I've decided to pack and eliminate things maybe or add things. And basically I have about nine leggings that I'm bringing and then I have six pairs of shorts that I'm bringing. Also bringing like quite a few pairs of comfy pants because I'm thinking training all day when it's really hot I just don't know that I want to be in like sticky tight leggings so I'm bringing like these are my Sarah's Day like drop crotch pants from White Fox Boutique. These are super comfortable. I have a couple of pairs from aloe and i have these pants that i got from what are these pants bohemian island i've had these forever but they're super comfortable flowy lightweight kind of like yogi pants <laughs> and they're really comfortable um i have a pair of these that are similar to those that i got from free people and these kinds of pants in my opinion can double not only as pants to wear while practicing, but also pants that I could probably wear around town and that kind of stuff. So that kind of doubles as training clothes and regular clothes. <laughs> I also have like these bras and then I have some little lightweight tank tops and t-shirts to throw over my bras just in case I um, don't want to walk around in a bra, which I normally don't. So yeah, as far as regular clothes, go like I said I have those couple of pairs of pants and then I have this little pile of rompers and again kind of like matching either short or top outfit or like pant top outfit and then I have one pair of jean shorts and two tube tops a black and a white and then I have these white linen pants that I actually got from Old Navy my mom got them for me okay this feels like a lot of clothes Hmm, but I am going for a month, so, okay. Like I said, this is round one of packing. <laughs> so 
still need to pack socks, underwear, ugh, shoes. Okay, let me grab my shoes. I'm also definitely bringing my visor that I got from Free People. And I'll bring my white and black aloe hat. And I'll bring my other two favorite hats, my little Brixton caps. And then for shoes, I'm thinking I'll definitely bring these little Havianas. Yeah, Havianas flip flops. And I think I'll bring my white. I'm either gonna bring black tennis shoes and white Rothies or black Rothies and white tennis shoes. I haven't decided yet, but I'll definitely bring a pair of my Rothies. And then. I have these. These are so cute. These look like Birkenstocks, but they're from Free People, and they are so cute. I got them last year. Let me show them to you. And then I have my white Birkenstocks that I really love. And I honestly think that's all the shoes I'm gonna bring. I don't think I'm gonna bring any more shoes on that. So I'll just like wear a pair of tennis shoes, you know? I also am like obsessed with my fanny pack that I got from Free People last year. So I'll definitely be bringing that. And I usually like to bring this as well. This is like a little makeup bag that I got from World Market last year, but I like to carry it like a little clutch. That is my first round of packing as far as clothes and shoes and accessories go. The other things that I'm definitely gonna pack are some wellness items. I can't do everything now because I still need to use them for the next week, but I'm gonna show you some of the wellness items that I will be packing. Of course, I'm gonna be taking my curling iron, beauty products, skincare products, and all that kind of stuff. My computer, my cameras. <laughs> There's so much stuff I have to bring. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's okay, it, we'll figure it out. Um, and like I said, my yoga mat. In addition to that, I'm also bringing two notebooks, which I already have, which is great. This one I got at Target. I think it's so cute. I love the pink and the cactus on it. It's so cute. And then my mom actually got me this one for my birthday, which is really cute. And they asked us to bring two notebooks. So I'm gonna bring two notebooks because I do what I'm told. No. Um, Gosh, I'm so excited to fill these up with yoga knowledge. Definitely bring a book for the plane. But wellness stuff that I'm bringing, I doesn't matter how far I'm traveling, every time I travel without fail, I get constipated. TMI maybe, but that's just the way it is. So, or I get some sort of like upset stomach or something and I do not want to deal with that while I'm in Bali. So I'm bringing all the things that I know will keep me feeling regular and feeling good. I'm gonna bring this Calm Magnesium drink, my probiotic from Silver Fern, digestive enzyme also from Silver Fern, my ritual vitamins. And then I was also advised by some people to bring activated charcoal pills. These are vegan and gluten-free and I just got these from Whole Foods. Also gonna be bringing lots and lots and lots of mushroom coffee. Come on guys. Yeah, I'm bringing tons of these single-use mushroom coffee packets because I drink at least one, if not two, every single day, and I want to be able to have those. The other couple of things that I'm 100% bringing is going to be Smooth Move Tea. TMI, I know, but I don't want to get there and feel bloated and sick. All right, so the plan for Bali is that I'll be flying to Australia and then from Australia to Bali and I'll stay a night in Bali and then I'm going to a little island off of Bali for three weeks for my teacher training. And then I have one week after my training where I actually have no plan, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do. That's so unlike me, I'm such a control freak. But this is part of this experience for me is to just release control, do something outside of my comfort zone, and really truly immerse myself and be present. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm, I'm excited for the transformation and the shift that's gonna, I know that's gonna occur from just getting out of my routine and also doing something that's totally outside of my comfort zone. So Bali, how it came about, like I said, I've been wanting to plan this for so freaking long. 
but I either didn't have the money or I wasn't feeling brave enough or my plans fell through. Last year, I had tried two different times to plan a trip to Bali and both trips fell through for various reasons. And so this year I thought, okay, I'm turning 30 in May, I'm going to Bali. And whether I can plan it with someone or not, it doesn't matter anymore because I can't depend on other people. I have to just make the plans and go. And if somebody wants to come with me, awesome. If they don't, peace, I'm going. So that's just what I did. One of my friends, Laura, who is also into fitness and yoga, we had these weekly yoga dates and I had mentioned to her a couple of times about wanting to do a teacher training and she said, oh my gosh, me too, I've been looking into it. So a couple weeks pass and I see her again and I was like, hey, have you put any more thought about Bali? And she's like, oh, I'm thinking about it, I'm not quite sure. And I was like, hey, well, I'm gonna go either way. If you wanna come, that'd be dope because I would love to go with you, um, but I'm going. So just let me know if you wanna go or not. She messaged me later that day and was like, you know what, F it, I'm going. I wanna go, let's go, you're going, like I wanna go, let's do this. And so she's actually going as well, which I'm so excited about because we're gonna stay together on the island during our training. It's really cool because I feel like I'm doing this trip solo, but I also have a buddy that is gonna be staying with me and that makes me feel so good. That's why I say I'm traveling alone-ish. I am traveling the 24 hours it takes to get to Bali alone and I'm spending my first night in Bali alone and getting to the island alone but once I land on the island I do have I do know my roommate which is gonna be great also if you're wondering sadly Penny cannot come with me my mom is gonna be watching Penny for me which I'm so grateful for mom if you're watching this thank you I love you as far as my classes at Aloe, Aloe has been incredibly supportive of me going on this journey and they are subbing out my classes for me and I will return to my regular teaching schedule when I come home and it just all felt like, this trip in particular felt like everything was just completely falling into place which is so 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 amazing. The school ended up working out great. The travel dates, the plans, Aloe, my mom, everything just worked. And I feel like while I'm a little bit scared, I think that's good. I think that means I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone and I'm doing something to really challenge myself. And I think the reason why I'm doing it now, I keep getting asked like, why now? It's like life is so incredibly short really when you think about it and I've spent a lot of my life thinking about a lot of things that I want to do and not actually doing them and I think turning 30 this year it really hit me that I don't want to live my life like that I don't want to get to the end of my life and think oh sorry street sweeper I just don't want to get to the end of my life and think, like, I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I go for that? Why didn't I take that risk or take that adventure? It actually makes me really emotional thinking about it because I do think that sometimes I feel like I wasted a lot of time in a bad relationship and I wasted a lot of time in a toxic job environment. And I, but, but it did lead me to where I am now and I'm grateful for it and I don't really regret it, I suppose. But that's not product that's not a productive way of thinking and that's how i came to living and doing what i'm doing now because i decided that i don't want to live the rest of my life like that i can't go back and undo all that stuff but what i can do is not waste another single second wishing and hoping and wanting but not doing i hope this inspires you to go after what you want to do too i feel like this video is really long so I'm gonna cut it off now. But if you have any more questions for me about my yoga teacher training in Bali, or spending a month in Bali, or how I booked or whatever, leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll make a video on it before I head out. I'm also going to be vlogging while I'm there. So if you have any particular 
things that you want to know about or see, let me know so that I can jot it down and I will make a video while I'm there. And I'll still be posting on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me. It's at Shayla Quinn, but the link is down in my description box below. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really supports my channel. I have one week before I'm off to Bali for a month. Ah, I can't believe it. Oh. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.